Hello dear children, today we are going to study chapter number 8 of your geography. The name of the topic is human environment, interactions, the tropical and subtropical region. Boys, human environment interactions, interactions means reciprocal action or influence here the tropical and subtropical regions we are going to discuss renuka was excited excited means uh, very eager okay or enthusiastic srikant uncle was Home after a gap of nearly four months. So Renuka, she was very eager here. It is because of Srikant uncle who was at home after a gap of nearly four months. He was a wildlife photographer and traveled wildly. So Srikant himself he was a wildlife photographer he used to take the photograph of wildlife and traveled widely widely means with a wide space he used to go here and there okay renuka's interest in wildlife and forests began at an early age when her uncle introduced her to books on nature. Renuka, her interest you see in wildlife and forest, it started at an early age, okay, when she was very young. From that moment, she was interested of this wildlife and forests. When her uncle introduced her to books on nature, pictures of distant lands and people who lived there always fascinated her. So you see in that picture, okay, in that uh, books on nature, picture of distant lands. Okay, the lands which are at distant places and people who live there always attracted her, okay, fascinated her means strongly attracted. This is Renuka, okay. In these pictures, Renuka, you can see people from different parts of the world some from dry deserts, some from frozen lands, and some from hot, wet forests. So here, boys, the picture which is given here, that is figure 8.1. You can see people from different parts of the world. Some of them, they are from dry deserts region. Some are from frozen lands means where there is continuous ice falls and some from hot wet rainforests. They look so different from me observed Renuka. So they look here different. Okay from that portion observed Renuka. They may look different, but they share the basic, the same basic needs of life, that is food, clothing, and shelter. So, they may look here different. They wear different clothes, but they share the same basic needs of life. Okay, you know, boys, food, clothes, shelter, these are our basic needs. So 
so they also they need what their basic needs such as food clothing and shelter in order to sustain their life explain srikant uncle so it was explained by srikant uncle their children do the same things as you probably do play games quarrel sometimes and then make up sing dance and help the families with various things that need to be done so children of those families they, they do the same things as you probably do play games quarrel sometimes and then make up sing dance and help the families with various things that need to be done they live closer to nature and very early their lives have learned to care for nature so these people they live uh, closer to nature and from very early in their lives they have learned how to care the nature okay they learned to care for nature okay how to keep their nature as it is they have learned this they learn how to catch fish and how to collect material from the forest apart from that a part of uh, apart from ca caring of the nature these people they learn how to catch fish and how to collect material from the forest <coughs> In chapters 8, 9, and 10, you will learn about the life of people in different natural regions of the world. Oh, yes. Here that means in chapter number 8, 9, and 10, we are going to study about the life of people in the different natural regions of the world. Now let us see life in the Amazon Basin. Before learning about the Amazon Basin, let us look at the map which is given here, figure 8.2. Have a look this. Map the Amazon Basin <coughs> in South America. Notice that the tropical a region lies very close to the equator between 10 degree north and 10 degree south you just notice this boy the tropical region it lies which is very close to the equator between 10 degree north and 10 degree south so it is referred to as the equatorial region and that is why this region is known as equatorial region the river amazon flows through these uh, regions okay here you see river amazon it flows through that very part notice how it flows from the mountains to the west and reaches the atlantic ocean to the east so it asks to notice how it flows this Amazon river it flows from the mountains to the west and reaches the Atlantic Ocean to the east the place where a river flows into another body of water is called the river's mouth okay mark this one boys just with a pencil you have to mark okay uh, here the place where a river flows through and into another body of water is called the river's mouth okay numerous 
tributaries join the Amazon River to form the Amazon Basin. So many tributaries, tributaries means branches of river boys, join the Amazon River in order to form the Amazon Basin. The river basin drains portions of Brazil, parts of Peru, Bolivia, Equator. So, here the river basin it drains portions of Brazil, then some parts of Peru, Bolivia, Equator. Colombia and a small part of Venezuela. Name the countries of the basin through which the equator passes. Okay, so with the help of your Google, you yourself you can search it. Okay, and then boys, you see this 8.2. Figure the Amazon Basin in South America map of you see South America it shows here in order to show you the Amazon Basin. Apart from this boys, have a look the left margin. Okay, do you know this one? And then and closely, you just need to know it. Okay, climate. As you know. As you now know, the Amazon Basin stretches directly on the equator and is characterized by hot and wet climate throughout the year. See, as you, know, as you now know that the Amazon Basin it stretches directly on the equator and is characterized here by hot and wet climate throughout the year. Both day and nights are almost equally hot and humid. The skin feels sticky. It rains almost every day. That too without much warning. The day temperatures are high with very high humidity. At night the Temperature goes down, but the humidity remains high. So this is the condition there. Okay, the skin this feels sticky. It uh, rains almost every day here. Okay, that too without much warning. The day temperatures are high and very high humidity so the day temperatures you see these are high with high humidity at night the temperature goes down but the humidity remains the high so at the night time okay the temperature it goes down but the humidity remains high. Rainforest, as it rains heavily in this region, thick forests grow. See the figure 8.3. The forests are in, in fact so thick that the dense roof created by leaves and branches does not allow the sunlight to reach the ground here uh, as it rains was heavily there in that uh, area thick forest it grows the forests are in fact so thick that the dense roof created by leaves and branches does not allow the sunlight to reach the ground. <clears throat> the ground remains dark and damp. 
as a result of this agricultural ground it always remains dark and damp only set tolerate vegetation may grow here so only you see set tolerant vegetation so vegetation are there it may grow here orchids bromeliads grow as plant parasites here orchids means here uh, orchids then bromeliads 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 here means a plant of tropical or subtropical okay america then grow as plant parasites here as plant that means parasite parasite means organism who sleeps on the on an organism another species okay then the rainforest is rich in fauna then first it is full of fauna fauna means animals of a particular region <coughs> birds such as toucans hummingbirds bird of paradise with their brilliantly colored plumes so here birds such as this uh, toucans hummingbirds bird of paradise etc what happen birds of paradise with their brilliantly colored plumes oversized bills for eating make them different from birds we commonly see in india these birds also make loud sounds in the forest so these birds which you can see here toucans okay picture has given so these birds they also make loud sound in the forest okay animals like monkeys sloth and ant eating tapirs are found here so animals uh, as example you see various animals it has mentioned here okay various species of reptiles and snakes also thrive in this jungles crocodile snakes pythons abound so these are found there then anaconda and boa constrictor are some of the species besides the basin is home to thousands of species of insects several species of fishes including the flesh eating piranha fish is also found in the river so was in the amazon you see there several types of fishes in which flesh eating piranha fish is also found in that river this basin is thus extraordinarily rich in the variety of life found there so this basin in this way it is found that a remarkable plus in which the variety of life found there okay in which different types of life is found there boys you see in this space have a look the right margin do you know bromeliads are special plants that store water in their lips animals like frogs use these pockets of water for laying their eggs you have to know this one okay as it asks do you know so you need to know it 
then another you see let's do this one you have to do yourself some tv channels broadcast documentaries on the wildlife of the world try to watch some of the films and share your experience with the class here you see in, in a, some tv channels in which it is broadcasted the documentaries on the wildlife of the world you have to watch them okay some of them uh, they are films okay and you need to share your experience with the class people of the rainforest people grow most of their food in small areas after clearing some trees in the forest people those who are living there they used to grow most of their food okay in small areas after burning the trees cleaning that forest area and they used to grow crops while men hunt and fish along the rivers women take care of the crops so at the time when the male okay men they used to go for hunting and fishing along the rivers women they used to take care of the crops they mainly grow tapioca pineapple and sweet potato so those people they used to go most probably this tapioca pineapple and sweet potato as hunting and fishing are uncertain it is the women who keep their families alive by feeding them the vegetables they grow so hunting and fishing okay as the men those men they used to do so sometimes or some days they used to get their hunt or they used to catch fishes okay but as it is uncertain there is no certainty every day they will get animals or catch fish so as it is uncertain it is the women who keep their families alive by feeding them the vegetables they grow so the day on which they do not get any animals or fish at the days the women of the family they used to keep their families alive by feeding them the vegetables which they grow in their field they practice slash and burn agriculture here they used to practice slash and burn agriculture boys slash and burn agriculture you can see the left margin do you know what is uh, slash and burn agriculture let us see slash and burn is a way of cultivating land where farmers clear a piece of land by slashing or cutting down trees and bushes so it is a type of cultivation okay in which uh, our farmers they used to clean a piece of land by slashing or by cutting down trees and bushes okay they used to cut the trees the place where they used, uh, they want to grow crops and after cutting it when the leaves dried okay at the time they used to burn that trees okay and they used to clean it and grow crops this type of cultivation we can see in our manipur also most probably in the month of say uh, february march boys the hilly area those people who are residing there in the hilly area they used to cut down trees they used to clean it and used to grow crops Okay, which is known as pamlo in our local language 
these are then burnt which releases the nutrients into the soil so that burning ash is okay when it is burned that ashes uh, it releases uh, the nutrients into the soil now crops are grown in this cleared field for a few years this is not a permanent type of agriculture cultivation okay boys see uh, after growing crops that means after say a few years there those areas it becomes lack of soil fertility okay so it says now crops are grown in this cleared field for a few years after repeatedly using the patch of land the soil loses its nutrients so it is abandoned abandoned means having been deserted or left people after that means uh, using the patch of land the soil it loses its nutrients and as it loses its nutrients so it is abundant people left that area okay and as soil it becomes less fertile okay crops cannot grow there then they clear another plot of land to plant at the time what they used to do they go for uh, cleaning another areas okay and the same procedure by say cutting trees by burning that areas they used to grow crops okay in the meantime young trees grow in the old field in this way soil fertility is restored people can then return to it and start cultivating it again so this is the procedure how that means these people they used to grow crops in those area again have a look the fourth line of page number 58 the staple food is manioc okay manioc is a type of that means a root okay uh, umangra in our vocal language it is called umangra like that okay then uh, it is that type of root okay also known as cassava that grows under the ground like the potato they also eat queen ants and x sex cash crops like coffee maize and cocoa are also grown so those people they used to eat queen ants and x sex and by the way uh, cash crops such as coffee maize and cocoa are also grown so this coffee maize and cocoa these are the crops which they used to sell for earning money it used to bring cash the rainforests provide a lot of wood for the houses so the rainforest it used to provide okay a lot of wood for their houses some families live in test houses except like beehives so some of their family they used to live in the houses which is made of test okay uh, test house test means uh, you know it's like straw in our local language it is called e okay in a couple you might make of test houses except like beehives it's a piece like beehive okay there are other large apartment like houses called maloka with a steeply slanting roof there are other large apartment large flat like okay houses which is known as maloka with a steeply slanting roof with a 
uh, steeply sloping roof like that. Life of the people of the Amazon basin is slowly changing. Lifestyle of this Amazon basin, there it is slowly changing. In the older days, the heart of the forest could be reached only by navigating the river. So, was in ancient days, in the older days, to reach the heart of the forest, there one need to go by navigating, okay, by ship only, okay, navigating the river. In 1970, the Trans Amazon Highway made all parts of the rainforest accessible. So, in the year 1970, this Trans Amazon Highway it made it is possible all parts of the rainforest to reach there. Okay, aircrafts and helicopters are also used for reaching various places. So these are other modes of transport. Okay, see aircrafts and helicopters they are also used in order to reach in those various places of that Amazon. The indigenous population was pushed out from the area and forced to settle in the new areas where they continue to practice their distinctive way of farming. So those people who were born and brought up there and their say forefather also born and brought up there. So those population, it was uh, their people, okay. It was pushed out from the area and forced in order to settle in new areas where they continued to practice their distinctive way of farming, where they continued to practice their distinguished okay, way of farming. Uh, sorry, here uh, there are different types of of way of farming. The developmental activities are leading to the gradual destruction of the biologically diverse rainforest. The developmental activities, developmental work, work of development, these are leading to the gradual destruction of the biologically diverse rainforest. Biologically means that concerns living organisms okay it affected there yeah. it is a rainforest it is estimated that a large area of the rainforest has been disappearing annually in the amazon basin so it is estimated and it was found that a large area of rainforest it has been disappearing means it is decreasing annually in those Amazon Basin. You can see that this destruction of forests has a much wider implication. Figure 8.6, dear boys, you see, you can see that this damages of forests, it has a much wider conclusion in figure 8.6. The topsoil is washed away as the rains fall and the loess forest turns into a barren landscape. So the topsoil, it washed away by the water, okay, as the rains fall and the loess means growing luxuriantly forest turns into a barren landscape. A barren landscape means it converted into too poor to produce much or any vegetation. Landscape means feature of an area of land like that, okay? It changes in this way. Now, let us see life in the Ganga Brahmaputra Basin. The tributaries of rivers Ganga and Brahmaputra together form the Ganga Brahmaputra Basin in the Indian subcontinent. 
boys are the branches of this rivers ganga and brahmaputra is a common form the ganga brahmaputra basin in the indian subcontinent okay the basin lies in the subtropical region that is situated between 10 degree north and 30 degree north latitudes so this uh, the basin lies this ganga brahmaputra basin it lies in the subtropical region which is situated in between 10 degree north to 30 degree north latitudes the tributaries of the river ganga like the ghagra the shan the chambal the gandak the koshi and the tributaries of brahmaputra drain it okay so the branches you see uh, of the river such as the ganga uh, sorry the tributaries of the river ganga it means here okay the branches of river ganga are, such as ghagra the shan the chambal the gandak the koshi and the tributaries of brahmaputra drain it okay boys mark this okay name the tributaries of ganga river if it asks you need to say the ghagra the shan the chambal the gandak and the the koshi and at the end the koshi okay like that look at the atlas and find names of some tributaries of river brahmaputra boys i think most of you you have your atlas book which is prescribed by the school okay so you have a look there that means in your atlas okay and find names of some tributaries of the river brahmaputra the plains of the ganga and the brahmaputra the mountains and the foothills of the himalayas and sundarbans delta are the main features of this basin see the plains of the ganga and the brahmaputra the mountains and the foothills of the himalayas and the sundarbans delta these are the main features of this ganga brahmaputra basin oxbow lakes dot the plain area the area is dominated by monsoon climate okay that area it is influenced over by monsoon climate the monsoon brings rains from mid june to mid september monsoon it used to bring rains there from the middle of june up to uh, middle of september the summers are hot and the winter cool so summers are hot there and winters are cool look at the map of india this is given in figure 8.8 .8. have a look there find out the states in which the ganga brahmaputra basin lies and you need to find out the state in which the Ganga Brahmaputra Basin lies. The basin area has varied topography. So that basin area has, it has different topographies. Okay. Different land features. The environment plays a dominant role in the distribution of the population. So the environment it plays main role okay in the distribution of the population regarding the residing of the people there this environment it plays the crucial role very important role here the mountain areas with steep slopes have inhospitable terrain the mountain areas which have steep slopes it have inhospitable terrain inhospitable means mm, harsh okay and uh, difficult to live in then terrain terrain means a stretch of land therefore less number of people live in the mountain area of the ganga brahmaputra basin see 
it is not easy to settle there okay these are the steep slopes of that mountain areas where you may not even get even see a good facility of transport and communication many thing there will be lack of okay which are needed in our day to day life and that's why population is also very less there therefore less number of people live in the mountain area of the ganga brahmaputra basin the plain area provides the most suitable land for human habitation see uh, this was about the mountain area again apart from that the plain area of this ganga brahmaputra basin it provides the most suitable area okay most suitable land for human habitation okay human habitation means here uh, the fact of living in that particular area the soil is fertile see the plain of ganga brahmaputra their soil is very fertile boys especially you see uh, if you go there even assam which is very close to us there also you will find that flood prone area especially in the winter days what a good crops it used to grow during winter days okay the plain area provides the most suitable land for human habitation the soil is fertile agriculture is the main occupation of the people where flat land is available to grow crops so agriculture it is the main occupation of those people who are residing there where flat land is available there in order to grow crops the density of population of the plains is very high density of human population of this this place plains it is very high the main crop is paddy okay there you see the main crop of ganga brahmaputra basin is a uh, plain is paddy since cultivation of paddy requires sufficient water it is grown in the areas where the amount of rainfall is high as cultivation of paddy it requires what a uh, sufficient water okay stagnant water is required for growing this crop so it is grown in those areas where the amount of rainfall is high wheat maize sorghum gram and millet are the other crops that are grown so apart from this paddy you see wheat maize sorghum sorghum it is a cereal boy gram and millet these are the other crops which are grown there cash crops like sugarcane and jute are gro- also grown okay for earning money you see sugarcane and jute people used to grow there banana plantations are seen in some areas of the plain in west bengal and assam tea is grown in plantations see in west bengal and assam tea is grown in plantation mark this okay the name of this two state where tea grows silk is produced through the cultivation of silkworms in parts of bihar and assam in the mountains and hills where the slopes are gentle crops are grown on terraces here you see the mountains and hills where there is uh, the slopes are gentle at that place crops these are grown on terraces terraces means a level paved area next to it. okay they met it there and is to grow crops they make some areas level by making different terraces terraces okay the vegetation cover of the area varies according to the type of land forms their vegetation you see uh cover 
of that area it is different according to the type of land forms see in the mountain areas or in valley areas like that according to that area vegetation different types of vegetation is possible there in the Ganga and Brahmaputra plain tropical deciduous trees grow along with teak shawl and people so in the Ganga and Brahmaputra plain see uh, this uh, tropical deciduous trees tropical means uh, here occur in regions where rainfall is very heavy mark dry season okay here in those areas tropical deciduous trees grow these are the uh, tropical deciduous trees okay such as see uh, teak shawl and people thick bamboo groves are common in the Brahmaputra plain the delta area is covered with the mangrove forest delta area the delta regions of that area is covered with the mangrove forest. Mangrove forest means a tree or shrub which grows in tidal like that. In parts of Uttarakhand, Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh, coniferous trees like pine, deodar and fir can be seen because the climate is cool and the slopes are steep. So in uh, parts of say Uttarakhand, Shikkim and Arunachal Pradesh states there you will see or find coniferous trees okay these are evergreen trees okay and uh, trees and shrubs usually needle shaped or okay it has needle shaped leaves like that and uh, the name of the trees is such as pine, deodar, and fir. You can see there. Since because the climate is cool and the slopes are steep, these are the region. Okay, why? These are found there. There is a variety of wildlife in the basin. Okay, different types of wildlife is also present there in that basin. Elephants, tigers, deer, and Monkeys are common. So among that wildlife, these elephants, tigers, deer and monkeys, these are common. The one-horned rhinoceros is found in the Brahmaputra plain. In the delta area, Bengal tiger, crocodile and alligator are found. So rhinoceros boys, here you see in the picture also, one-horned rhinoceros. One picture it is given, so it is found there in Assam. Okay, uh, they are in the Brahmaputra plain. In the delta area, Bengal tiger, crocodiles, and alligator these are found. Okay, so these are the different types of animals which are found there. In the deltaic regions aquatic life abounds in the fresh river waters aquatic life life which are present in the in the water okay these are abounds in that fresh river waters the lakes and the bay of bengal sea the most popular varieties of the fish are the rohu katla and hilsha so, most popular or famous types of fish which are found there are the rohu, katla and hilsha. Fish and rice is the staple diet of the people living in the area. So, fish and rice, these are main diet, okay, of the people, those who are living in those area. But do you know again, see right margin? Terraces are built on the steep slopes to create flat surfaces on which crops are grown. The slope is uh, removed so that water does not run off rapidly. 
this is the idea of why that means places are met. So boys, here you see a uh, lack, a source of livelihood, a case study. Just get through this one also, okay. And then you see here, do you know again another one, the right margin sheet here. In the fresh waters of River Ganga and River Brahmaputra, a variety of dolphin, locally called Shushu, also called blind dolphin, is found. The presence of Shushu is an indication of the health of the river. The untreated industrial and urban waste west with high amount of chemicals are killing these species. Okay. Here, a lack, a case of livelihood, uh, a source of livelihood, a case of study. Binod is a fisherman living in the Matwali Mount village of Bihar. He is a happy man today. With the efforts of the fellow fisherman Ravinder, Kishore, Rajiv and others, he cleaned the mound or the ox or the oxbow like to cultivate different varieties of fish. The local wheat, Bellinaria, Hydrilla that grows in the lake is the food of the fish. The land around the lake is fertile. He shows crops such as paddy, maize and pulses in these fields. The buffalo is used to pluff the land the community is satisfied there is enough fish catch from the river enough fish to eat and enough fish to sell in the market they have been they have even begun supply to the neighboring town the community is uh, living in harmony with nature as long as the pollutants from nearby towns do not find their way into the lake waters. The fish cultivation will not face any threat. Okay. See, uh, the community of uh, is living in harmony. It means increasing way they are living with nature. As long as the pollutants from nearby towns it do, do not uh, find their way to enter the lakes or to pollute the lake waters, the fish cultivation will not face any warning. Threat means any warning there. It will not difficult for fish. See another fact. Do you know this one? To accelerate the efforts to achieve universal sanitation coverage and to put Fourth on sanitation, the Prime Minister of India launched the Swachh Bharat Mission on 2nd October 2014. See, uh, in which year that means our present Prime Minister launched this Swachh Bharat Mission. Okay, date as well as year you must know and what is the plan he met. You must know it, okay? The Ganga Brahmaputra Plain has several big towns and cities. Ganga Brahmaputra Plain has different big towns and cities which are situated nearby them. The cities of Allahabad, Kanpur, Varanasi, Lucknow, Patna and Kolkata all with the population of more than 10 lakhs are located along the river Ganga. See, the cities such as Allahabad, Kanpur, Varanasi, Lucknow, Patna and Kolkata, these all with the population of more than 10 lakhs, they are located along the river Ganga. The wastewater from these towns and industries is discharged into the rivers. But see boys, the wastewater from these different towns which is mentioned above, okay, and industries is discharged, it flows from industries and from towns into the rivers. 
this leads to the pollution of the rivers as this uh, this uh, say industries waste water and towns waste water it flows into the river it leads what to the pollution of the rivers it is uh, polluting river secret of river ganga it is wasting by this okay so all the four ways of transport are well developed in the ganga brahmaputra basin so all the four ways of transport these are well developed in the ganga brahmaputra basin that is railway roadways airways waterways anyone okay in the plain areas the roadways and railways transport the people from one place to another in the plain areas the roadways and railways transport are there in which the people they move from one place to another the waterways is an effective means of transport particularly along the rivers Kolkata is an important port of the river Hooghly. Kolkata it is an important port. Okay, on the river Hooghly, from where ship used to sail to different states or other countries. The plain area also has a large number of airports. Yeah, that means you see, in that plain area. There are different airports are also there. Where from where that means one can get fly to fly himself from there by an aeroplane. Tourism is another important activity of the basin. Taj Mahal on the banks of River Yamuna in Agra, Allahabad on the confluence of the rivers. Ganga and Yamuna, Buddhist stupas in Uttar Pradesh and Bihar, Lokna with its Mambara, Assam with Kajiranga and Manas with wildlife sanctuaries and Arunachal Pradesh with a distinct tribal culture are some of the places worth a visit. Okay, so for tourism also where we can go and she and enjoy tourism is another important activity of the basin there you can see Taj Mahal which is on the banks of a river Yamuna in Agra okay Allahabad on the confluence confluence here that means a junction of two rivers of the uh, rivers Ganga and Yamuna Buddhist to pass in Uttar Pradesh and Bihar, Lukna with its Imambara and Assam with Kajiranga and Manas with wildlife sanctuaries and Arunachal, Arunachal Pradesh with a distinct tribal culture. These are some of the places, okay, which uh, worth a visit, equivalent in value, okay, to the sum or a specified that is called what a visit okay you can enjoy it. this thing there so here is the end of the chapter boys thank you